I'm Ellis, product manager at Forma. It's been one year since we launched our embodied carbon analysis. In partnership with Cscale, the team that created the machine learning based predictive engine that powers the future. Our goal was to create an accessible analysis that helped any early stage designer understand the carbon impacts of their project from day one without requiring any technical or subject matter expertise. I'll show you a quick demo of the analysis. We draw a building, we define a few properties for that building a building program, a primary structural system, and an envelope cladding material. And then we run the analysis. And within a few seconds, from start to finish, we have results not only in that building, but in all the other buildings on the site that we've defined properties for. And those are all broken down by building system. Now, we can vary the structural system, get results from mass timber as well. And over the last year, while we've worked to maintain the accessibility of this analysis, we've also worked to increase the customizability and transparency of the data behind it. So now, in addition to using the default carbon intensity data that we provide, you can go into this window where you can see you can vary scenario for all carbon intensity values. You can completely customize them to your use case and you can view the data sources that these analysis, uh, that this data is pulled from. We've also recently added support for buildings drawn in Formos 3D sketch mode. So right here in the scene, you can see one of those buildings. Over here on the right-hand menu, you can see the simplification that the analysis makes uh, to that building's geometry in order to run it. And if we click the building, we can set parameters just like we would for any other building. And then we can run the analysis and see the results in the scene. One exciting workflow that that capability makes possible is analyzing imported buildings. So right here, we can place an imported building. We can immediately double click it to edit it in 3D Sketch, or we can add floors. We can add our analysis parameters to that building and run it just as we would any other building. We've also added support for Formas Compare Mode because we know that numbers like this, 47,000 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent, don't mean much to most people, even those who do have more experience working with carbon. And what's really valuable is being able to place two different scenarios side by side. So here, using the example I saw earlier, we can see the huge difference that a mass timber structural system makes compared to a reinforced concrete one. 260 tons of CO2e compared to 750. We think that this is really useful for not only understanding the relative differences between primary material choices, but between fundamental building forms. Now, we really appreciate those of you who have used the analysis and contributed to its development by passing your feedback on to us. And we want to stress that we're still actively working on improving it. This is the start of creating an iterative, collaborative, project-long workflow that allows different personas working in different tools to understand the carbon impact of their decisions from day one.